welcome everybody to Carol's art room. So I'm going to do a heart, a wooden heart. This is just a solid wooden heart. I picked up at actually I picked it up at the Goodwill store. I just put a little coat of uh, gesso on it. So I'm going to paint it red. So I've got some red um, Artist Loft, bright red. It's the Flow Acrylic in the big bottle. And then I have, I've mixed it with some white, uh, red house paint also. So this is it here. So I'm gonna pour it down. I'm going to do a swipe. A negative space swipe. Should have taped the back, but I didn't. That's okay, I'll just paint the back red too. Oh. I hope it's not too thin. when you have a wet rag to wipe your fingers on. Oh, really works much better than paper towels. And you don't go through as many paper towels either. Let's break a couple of these. So I've got some pretty colors I'm going to use. Windsor Violet by Windsor and Newton. These are mixed with my pouring medium for my blooms. This is Rust-Oleum Gold. I have uh, Nightingale, this little piggy. I have Twinkle by this little piggy. I have an Artist Loft Violet, and I also have a, um, oh, I forgot the name of this one, um, Red Violet by DecoArt in the tube, the premium one. All right, so let's do this. I think I'm just gonna make a puddle in the middle on an angle like that. And then I think I'll stretch it. So 
some gold. You gotta have gold. Gold makes it sparkle. <laughs> And then this nightingale is called. Now I'll put down some twinkle. This is an interference one, so it kind of changes color a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. And some of this violet. It's almost the same color as the pigment. Swirl and swipe. I swear I don't know where the lids get to in this mess of my table. <sighs> Swipe with white. I was going to use this and just go like that and make sure I put quite a bit of white on here. Titanium white and um, Australian Floetrol. so nervous. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, how was that? I need to go over that.
Why did I squiggle? I don't know why I squiggled. I was going to go straight and then all of a sudden I squiggled. Oh, where is my other? Cool. Oh, why did I do that? So now I'm going to try and pick this up. Let's see what I get out of it. Come down this way. There. Not bad, eh? That's not too bad. Come back to the t this way. stretch it this way a bit and if I don't like it I can always do another one I like that lacing Hmm. I don't know if I like this or not. What do you think? Should I try another one? It's kind of, uh, hmm. Whimsical, maybe I can call it. This way a little bit more.
I like it. I think I like it. I can't put it down on that. I've got such a mess going here. I think I do like it. What do you think? It's pretty, isn't it? I'm going to leave it because I think I like it. I think it's great. Sometimes you have to look at it for a few minutes and just take it all in. There you go. I'm going to end this video. Call it a day. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit the hit the bell for notifications. You'll get notified when I do another video. And uh, like, give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think and come back to Carol's Art Room for some more free videos. Bye bye. Hi everybody. Here's my dried heart. Oh, look at that nice shiny purple colors. There's a piggy in there. Pigment. Dried really nice. This will look good varnished or resined. Take in for a close-up. Look at that lacing there, it's pretty. This one's very different. I really like it. Thanks for coming by. Even the red has a bit of a shine to it. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.